Your voice, your station. So, you want to hear school students talk about their travel experiences, learnings, escapades, episodes, knowledge, incidents from all the corners of the globe? Terra Talk, platform from where young voices reach out to the world. Brought to you by Ed Terra Adventures. Today, we have a very interesting and engaging topic, which is our trip to Sanchi. We learned a lot from the trip and also a lot about Buddhism. I have three more team members with me. My name is Vivan. My name is Naisha. My name is Sam. And my name is Ahana. We are sure you will learn a lot from our podcast. Terra Talk, platform from where young voices reach out to the world. So, Naisha, can you tell us a brief history about Buddhism? Sure. Buddhism was started by Siddhartha Gautama, who was born 2500 years ago in the Shakya clan. His father, Sudhodana, raised him in luxury and trained him in the art of war. His marriage was at 16 and was blessed with a son named Rahul. One day, while going through the town of Kapilvastu, Siddhartha saw some people in sorrow, which disturbed him a lot. He then left his palace to find answers when he was 29 years old. He heavily meditated after going to see many gurus but still remaining confused and finally attained enlightenment under a bodhi tree in Gaya, present-day Bihar. This gave him the name Gautam Buddha or the Enlightened One. He spread the message of compassion and peace. He also shared teachings about the middle path which consisted of eight principles to attain enlightenment which were collectively known as the Eightfold Path. This religion was finally started in 5th century BCE. The Buddhist population currently is 6%. The top 10 countries with Buddhism are Taiwan, Macau, Japan, Vietnam, Laos, Tibet, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Myanmar, Cambodia and Thailand and Buddhism is gradually becoming popular in the world. Wow, that's really interesting. But how is Sachi related to Buddhism? Sachi is a place in Madhya Pradesh, India. It has a rich history tied to the spread of Buddhism in India. It is known for its ancient Buddhist monuments which were commissioned by Ashoka of the Mauryan dynasty which we will talk about later. After the 12th century CE, the site fell into disuse and was forgotten until its rediscovery in the 19th century CE by General Mark Taylor. Other restoration work of the site was led by famous archaeologists like Sir John Marshall. It is now recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is monitored by the Archaeological Survey of India. It is celebrated for its well-preserved stupas, temples, monasteries, etc. That is a lot of information. Thank you, Naisha. Now, the Sanchi stupa is one of the most important part of Sanchi. So, Sam, what do you know about it? Well, the Sanchi stupa is a place of Buddhism and was created to honor the teachings of Gautam Buddha. To enter the stupa, we have to enter from the south gate. As whenever we enter any holy place in India, we touch the feet of the gods, and the gods' feet are always pointed towards the south. The Sanji Stupa was created in 300 BC and is believed that this stupa houses Gautam Buddha's ashes. Really? I never knew that. Yeah, and when I went to the Sanji Stupa, I also saw that there were carvings of something related to Greek on the pillars. Do you know anything about that? Yes. Did you know? Uh, that the Sanji stupa was related to Greek mythology. This is because the builder of the stupa was Ashoka, and Ashoka's grandfather was married to a Greek woman, Helena. For this reason, Ashoka was part Greek. So, if you can see on the gates of the stupa and the area surrounding it, you can see carvings of related to Greek mythology uh, around the uh, area of the stupa and in the gate, like the Pegasus. Now, Vivan, I heard that there are rules of dynasties in the making of the Sanji stupa. Uh, can you tell us what they are? So, the rules of making the Sanji stupa of dynasties is very vast and interesting. First, I think I should talk about what a stupa is. A stupa features a large hemispherical dome symbolizing the universe, topped by a central pillar that represents the connections between heaven and earth. Now, let's get back to our topic which is the roles of dynasties in making the Sanji stupa. When Ashoka made this stupa, it was pretty small. But when other dynasties came, they improved it and made it larger. 
It is now the largest stupa in Sanchi. Many foreigners around the world donated materials to make the stupa. Their names are also written on the pillars. 200 rupees notes are also based on the Sanchi stupa. Finally, we have Ahana with us. Ahana, what do you think was your favorite part in the entire journey? In my opinion, the Jataka Tales is one of the most interesting part in the Great Stupa. Can you tell us something about what these are? The Jataka Tales are stories of Gautam Buddha in his past lives. They are beautifully carved on the South Torona of the Great Stupa. The first tale is the most interesting in my thoughts. Overall, our experiences and knowledge through this amazing trip led to a very good trip to Sachi. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Like what you're listening? Stay tuned for a new podcast on classroomworld.com. Terra Talk, the number one station.